In this video, I'll show you how to set up a school account. The purpose of setting up a school account is so that you can purchase and manage multiple subscriptions for your school. Firstly, we need to log in. So I'll assume you've already created your normal teacher account, but there is another video that shows you how to do that. I'll log into my teacher account. You have arrived into my account. Firstly, what I need to do is go up to profile and select my school. This section gives you the option to join an existing school or register a new school. If someone's given you a school code, you can join with that code by selecting join school. In this case, I'll register a new school. This brings you to the school admin login. This is where you will log in with the same credentials as you have for your Frankenstories or your Write Like account. So you put in your account email and password and log in. After I've logged in with my teacher account, I'm prompted to create my school. I can fill in my school details and from there I can create school. After filling in the details, my school has now been created. I've been given a school code and now I have a few options in my checklist. So you can start by purchasing subscriptions or invite teachers, either way is okay. Let's go here to purchase subscriptions. There's a range of options you can use, a range of currencies and different subscription lengths, and you can purchase multiple subscriptions at once. By selecting checkout here, this will take you to our secure third party payment system where you can use a credit card to make a payment. You can also use this request an invoice button to request an invoice. So here I'll go to the checkout and purchase these three subscriptions. After I've processed through the payment gateway, I come back to the school page and I can select continue. You can see here that I have successfully purchased the three subscriptions. I can view them and I can also assign them. So I can click in and assign these to a teacher. So I can click on to each individual subscription or up over on the right here. I can assign that. I'm the only teacher here. So I can assign that subscription. When other teachers join, you can assign subscriptions in the same manner. Over on the next tab, we have administrators. So you can see here I'm an administrator. I can invite another administrator. I can simply send an email to one of my colleagues and hit invite administrator. You can have multiple administrators for your school, uh, which allows uh, multiple people to purchase, but also manage subscriptions. The subscriptions are able to be interchanged between teachers. Here I can show you what a new teacher might see. So we go in and register as a teacher. As normal, you fill in your details. And just down here where you see school code, you can insert the school code that we saw before. If you already have an account, but aren't already joined to a school, then you can log in and do it with your existing account. So we'll log in as a teacher account. Here you see I'm logged in. And back we go to my school. If you remember the option we had before of join school, so we select join school and that's where we can put in the school code and then select join school. I've returned to the school admin page. I can see that there is a few teachers have joined me here. I would like to now go and allocate the subscriptions. I'll go up to the top to subscriptions tab. I can select the drop down menu and see the three unassigned subscriptions. So I'll go over to the right and click assign. There's three subscriptions available and I've got four teachers. I'm happy with this allocation. So I'll go to assign subscriptions, go back to subscriptions, click on the drop down menu and I can see that those teachers have now been assigned. I have the ability to reassign and that's what we mean when we say manage subscriptions. So if I'd like to change one of the subscriptions or offer it to another teacher, I can select this subscription here, say it's this teacher, and I can select unassign. That subscription is now available to be reassigned. So I can select on it, hit assign, and select a different teacher and assign that subscription. 
that concludes our tutorial on how to set up a school account and purchase and manage subscriptions.